So I'm going to teach you how to do a Lego font, just like you see on the screen here. Uh, the first steps that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file. And this is with uh, Adobe Elements 9. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a red background. So I'm going to select a color. And down here, I'm going to type in FF0000. And you should see a color red here. You can press OK. And then what I'm going to do is select the paint tool, paint bucket tool, and color the background red. Next thing I'm going to do is create my text. So I'm going to select the text tool, select the Lego Thick font, which you should have downloaded and installed prior to this, and I'm going to change the text color to black. So I'm going to select this, and black is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And so I have my font size 128. You, you'll want to use whatever uh, makes sense for your image. And make sure that it's in all capital letters, like this. If you use lowercase letters, the fonts are going to be something different. So, oop, and it switched out. So that's another thing you have to be careful about. Make sure you use the right font here. So once that's done, press the OK. So the next thing you'll want to do is you'll notice that there you have the layers here. You want to make sure that it's highlighted on this layer of text that you just typed in. And hold down the control key and press this T in the middle here. And so you're holding down the control and then do a left mouse click. And if you do everything right, you should see that your text is going to be highlighted. The next thing we want to do is create a new layer. So go to the Layers menu, do New Layer. And press OK. And what we want to do is put this layer below your text. So hold down your mouse key on this layer and drag it below the other layer, like this. And um, after you do that, you want to make sure that this layer remains highlighted. So if it's like this, you have it wrong. You have to make sure that this is the one that's selected, the middle layer. So now what we're going to do is um, create the yellow border. And so what we want to do is do Select, Modify, Expand, and you specify the number of pixels. Right now I have it at 20, but um, you may have to play with this. Press OK, and you'll notice that your highlighted section has grown here. And what we want to do is fill it in with yellow. So pick your color yellow. Um, I already have yellow as my background color, so I could switch it. But um, just in case you don't have yellow, you could just select this. And the color for yellow is FFFF00. So type that in here. Press OK. And then what we're going to do is, using the Paint Bucket tool, select that and just fill it in. And this is what you should get. So the next thing that we're going to do is create the white center. And so the way you do that is you first want to deselect everything. And so you could do select, deselect here, or control D. And the blinking should disappear. Then what we want to do is go back to your top layer. So under the layer screen here, click on that. 
and you're not holding down a control key or anything like that. And it should select um, that layer. Then you want to select the magic wand and while holding down the shift key left click on the center of each of your texts. Like this. So if you do it correctly you should have basically the center of all your um, characters highlighted. And then what we'll do here is select the color white which is FF, FF, FF. And then use the paint bucket tool and fill it in one by one. And you'll get this warning that says this type layer must be simplified. Just press OK. And you can start filling them in. After that, you could deselect all the text by pressing Ctrl D, and you now have a Lego font.